Hi everybody, thank you for checking out my review for these mini PCs by SW Bonds or Swabonds, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, but I picked up one of these computers, was really happy with it, so I decided to pick up a couple more. Um, they, these are actually two different computers, believe it or not. I'm going to put the ASINs of both of them in there. Um, but basically I just want to do a video um, showing the differences between the two. Um, this one costs about $10 less than this one. Um, and there's really only one key difference. Performance-wise, they're almost identical, or they are identical, um, but the difference is that you can see that this one that costs a little more has a, has a VGA output built into it, whereas this one uses a VGA to HDMI converter cable. That's about the only difference. That being said, um, if, you have an ex if, you, if you're planning on connecting it to a monitor that only has a VGA output, I highly recommend spending a few extra bucks and getting the one that actually has the, the HDMI, I mean, sorry, the VGA port built into it. And the reason is, is that anytime you add extra cables, you add extra clutter. Kind of the whole purpose of having a really small computer is to keep everything together. Um, and these is, this is just one more thing that can potentially fail. Um, it, it hasn't so far. I've been pleased with it, um, but it, it's just another potential. So let me go ahead and show you what these boxes come with. The rest of it is identical, so um, they both have the same layout here where they got two USB ports and they have the SD card, XD card, which is awesome. The back, largely the same as well, if I can get it to focus there. So they both have um, an Ethernet port. They both have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in, which is awesome. Um, the Wi-Fi actually works really well on both of them. And then you have the HDMI and, of course, the USB power cord goes here. And then in case you can't, it took me a while to find it the first time, but um, the power button is right here. So once you plug it in, you push the power button, obviously, to turn it on. Um, and then this side is just a cooling effect. So in the box um, with this one, you have the VGA to HDMI cable. You have the power cord, obviously. You have the mounting bracket. This is super cool because this one's going in the car, so I'm going to actually mount this screw this into the either the center console or the side post, I haven't decided yet. Um, and then this just slides right into it here, like that. So, and mounts pretty securely, which is awesome. All right, so now, oh, sorry, I didn't finish. I got excited. <laughs> All right, so it also comes with the screws for that, and it comes with an HDMI cable. I don't use those ones. It actually comes with two HDMI cables. One's very short if you plan on, on mounting this close, um, and then this is a longer cable. I already have stuff connected, so I don't, didn't really need to use that. Same thing in these, this box minus the VGA to HDMI. So it does come with two HDMI cables, the mounting bracket, the power cable. Um, they're pretty simple. They're extremely simple to set up. Uh, so I haven't actually set this one up yet. I've set that one up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the setup. They're I, probably identical. If there's any changes, I'll point them out as I do the, the video. Uh, but the setup should be completely identical. So I'm going to show you um, step by step how to do that and how to make sure Windows is activated. Then kind of give you a, an overview of how well um, these computers function as far as streaming and as far as um, smoothness of, of navigating through menus. So let's go, go ahead and get over to the TV and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now we are up and rolling. I just barely turned it on. I'm going to run you through the entire thing. You can see how long it takes to set the, the, the first run up. Um, connecting it in is super simple. All you really have to do is plug the power cable in to the box um, and the HDMI cable into the box and into your TV, and you're good to go. It takes all of about 20 seconds. Um, I also did plug in this, just a typical USB mouse, and I am going to use one of these as soon as we're set up. All right, so yeah, this is this is my kind of my go-to uh, remote control. All right, so it looks like we're already ready. Let's see if it if it works. You may have to. Okay. So this this one initially won't work until we actually start it up and install the driver. So I'm going to use just a typical USB optical mouse, and we're going to scroll through here. We're going to choose English. Hit next. Um, English, 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 whatever, that's, sure. All right, then we're going to hit next. So you're going to want to make sure, obviously, that your time zone and everything is correct before you hit next. So this one's going to ask you for the product key. What you're going to do is, is down here where it says do this later, you're going to click this right here because it's going to activate once it's connected to the Wi-Fi. This is all um, 
the user agreements from Microsoft, the legal stuff, you hit accept down there. Um, now you're going to connect into the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to pause connection to my Wi-Fi and I'll be right back with you. I do want to show you one thing right here. Um, if, if you don't have a keyboard plugged in, it's kind of hard to enter your, your password. So down here at the very bottom, you're going to hit this ease of access. And Make your computer easier to use. It's going to talk Windows to us for a second. Windows will read scan this list automatically. That was kind Press of... the space bar to select the highlighted option. <laughs> On screen. That was, that was kind of uh, kind of loud. Sorry about that. But you saw what I you saw what I hit there. You hit the, this, and then the on, Make your on screen keyboard. To use. Goodness, Windows, leave me alone. All right, so you hit the on screen keyboard and you can type it in. So I'm gonna punch it in. I'll be right back with you. All right, so now it's going to connect. So we're done with this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of there. Um, I'm gonna just use the Express settings for ease. So that's this, this option down here. And click that. And now we should be getting up and rolling. So we should be to the, the main screen here in just a minute. So just so that you don't have to sit and wait, I'm going to, well, never mind. I guess that went quicker than I was expecting. This is a fast little computer. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, hardcore gaming, obviously, it's not going to work for that. You guys build your massive uh, towers and all of everything, but, but for your average use, especially for streaming and for um, business presentations, that sort of thing, this little computer is really nice. And the, the thing that I really love about it, while it's doing that, I want you to listen here, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the microphone literally right on top of this uh, computer and see if you can hear anything. That was kind of a trick because these things are silent. You can't hear anything. You can actually hear more, more sound coming out of my TV, the buzzing from my TV, than you can from these computers, which I love. Um, they're also they're, they're fanless, so they're very quiet. Um, and they have a solid state hard drive. It's more of a flash drive because it's like 32 gigs. It's not a ton, but you can plug in um, flash drives or external hard drives to it. Um, oh, you know what I did? I shouldn't have connected to the Wi-Fi quite yet because uh, it's going to download these critical updates um, from Microsoft, so that could take a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, see, it says that might take a while. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this, and I'll be back with you uh, as soon as those updates are complete and we're ready. So to with log that in. complete, it takes it to this page where you can log in with your Microsoft account. Um, again, I haven't, we haven't booted up, so we don't have the drivers yet for the wireless keyboard. So I'm going to have to click down here. Or you can skip this step entirely, but I'm going to go ahead and click. Um, I'm going to do the on-screen keyboard, and I'm going to log in, so I'll be back with you in a second. All right, so I actually forgot my password. <laughs> so um, I'm going to, I just chose to skip that. So now you're going to enter in the, the username. Um, I'm not going to. Let's see if it will let me know. Now it's going to make me Windows 10. All right, so um, this one, whoops. I'm going to choose again. I'm going to hit the on. Make your computer. Yeah, that is so loud. Probably turn that down. Um, so let's just do. Uh, we'll just, just set this as TV. I think this is. I can't remember if this is the one that's going in the TV or uh, or in the car. So, all right. So now we're ready. Ah, uh, sure. Let's use Cortana. Might as well use it. And it's going to log into Cortana's information and bring it up. There we go. All the flashing and stuff, that only happens the first time. After that, the, the boot up and, and shut down is actually quite quick. All right, so it's getting ready now. Um, let's go ahead and pause and we'll be back with you when it's finished. Alright, so we're back and now it says that your PC has an update waiting. That's what it was downloading. Um, I'm going to tell it, just go ahead and update um, and we're, it's going to start the download so we're going to hit next. 
I don't know if it's gonna let us, okay, so it's making us do the update before we log in. You can, you do have the option to skip that part completely and then come back later and, and uh, do the update. I'm just gonna go ahead and update it now so I don't forget to do it because it's a lot of security patches and stuff like that. So uh, depending on your internet speed, this could take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we are back, we are, we are upgraded. Um, I went ahead and plugged in my little handy remote here and all I did was, was uh, plug in the USB dongle and it worked just fine. So let's go ahead and run through a couple things here. Um, this upgrade assistant popped up after, let's see if I can focus, there we go. Um, popped up after I did the upgrades. The upgrades actually took a really long time. Um, the updates, I should say, not upgrades, but the updates took a really long time. But one thing that I was really impressed with, I actually left it for a few hours because I just didn't care to wait around. Um, and when I came back, that computer was as cool as when I took it out of the box. So even though it had been sitting running for a long time, there was like no heat generated, which was really impressive. Um, all right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make sure that we are activated. So I'm going to go system settings, activation. And it says we are activated with the digital license. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a genuine copy that is activated, which is great. Uh, I, I hope you also notice how fast that menu opened. There is no lag time whatsoever on these. Let's go ahead and open this. Yeah, I mean, that, that runs really, really fast. Uh, check out the PC. Let's, let's take, take a look at this real fast. Um, so you can see that a lot of the space is actually already taken up. And yep, that's what I was thinking. So it put a file here um, in the Windows 10 upgrade. Let's see real fast how. So I think it's only 19, me 19 uh, megabytes. So I got to figure out what actually took up most of my space because it should be, we should have about 20 um, gigs empty. So something, something installed. But anyway, uh, I, I also wanted you to see just how fast menus and everything open, fi files open really fast. Uh, so that's really awesome. So let's go ahead and we're going to check out the streaming here. So let's go YouTube. And we'll just pull up something that's HD. And I mean, my internet's not that good, but this actually handled it really great. Um, so let's see. Um, to find something. Find something that's HD here. I guess this would be. Whoa, sorry. Still getting the use, the hang of my mouse. All right. I have no idea what trailer this is. It's a new movie trailer of some kind. So let's click on it and see. I'm going to turn the volume down so it doesn't blast us. I'm going to make sure that the settings. I'm going to skip this. Uh, make sure the settings are set. It's set for auto. It's already streaming in 1080, but I'm going to just force it to make sure that it streams there. So that's, I mean, that's really great quality. Let's put it in full screen. Excellent. I mean, that's that's very smooth streaming. Let me turn the the sound up for you. The sound sounds great. Uh, no, no buffering issues. Buffering is normally an internet issue, but it also can can be related to the computer itself. I mean, close that out so it's not distracting anymore. Um, so you can see it runs really good. The menu is open fast. It's a very, very smooth running computer. The other one that I tested before I did this one for you guys runs identical to this one. So really, it comes down to what are you looking for? What is, what's your application? If you think at any point in the whole time you have this computer, you might want to connect it to a monitor that only has a VGA output, then uh, spend the extra, that's my fingers, <laughs> spend the extra, the extra few bucks and pick up the, the one that has a VGA port built into it. If you don't think you're ever going to need that, you're, you're going to be really happy with the one that's HDMI. This is HDMI right here, and you can see how awesome it works. Uh, let's just open them. See, yeah, man, that runs so smooth. I think you guys are going to be super, super pleased with these. Make sure you get the one that you want, um, and you're not going to have any issues with it. So I give this one a solid five stars, and I say pick it up today.